you know, I'm doing something new and it's unfamiliar. And so people are trying to create models of like what's really happening here. And so this is large, a large part what this 5,000 person study is like, you know, I've been doing this in myself, but everyone's like, well, it's just you, but no one else. And I was like, well, actually let's try it on 5,000 people. Let's see. And so we're, we're putting it through the rigor of scientific measurement. Mm-hmm. We'll get outcomes like whether we'll all be positive. We'll see like, uh, but it'll be uh, a process where we collectively evaluate it. And what will be required of these 5,000? Uh, and, you know, are they, is it a cross section of just the United States, North America, or is it inter- international? Yeah, it's five countries, U.S., Canada, U.K., Canada, oh, wait, U.S., Canada, U.K., Germany, Australia. Okay. And do they have to live the Brian Johnson routine regimen? No. Okay. So no, what's required? It's just consuming one drink in the morning, eight pills, one mil, nutty pudding, and extra virgin olive oil. How did you decide on those eight pills out of the like 120 that you take every day or something? Yeah. How many, how many are you taking now? We, yeah, uh, daily I take, well, I'm on blueprint now, so it's less, but before I was doing yeah over a hundred. Yeah. We basically consolidated uh, into these pills. Yeah. But what we did is we, uh, the thing we did that was unique in the world is we combed through all the scientific evidence on health span and lifespan we ranked the highest value uh, therapies. We then assessed according to the believability of the of the evidence. Mm-hmm. And then we went through, we implemented every single thing we could in me according to power laws. Right. And no one in history had done that before. In a systematic way, all evidence into one human. And then we did the same process to say, now can we do that and put it into a product for the population, every gender, every age. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, that's what we did. And so that's what we're testing now. So we're saying, can this potentially be, we're competing for the most nutritious food program in human history, better than anything that's ever come before it because we've combed through all the evidence. Yeah. And what do those eight supplements look like? Like, uh, Give us, name a couple of them. Well, they're, so for example, it's uh, one is called Essentials and it has like 26 different things. Oh, so this is like your proprietary yeah. blend. Yeah. We don't know exactly what's in it, but Oh yeah, but we publish everything. Okay. So it's all it's all transparent. But the the food stack has sixty seven interventions. So sixty seven each therapy is based upon uh, scientific evidence. Uh, and so we basically are bringing to a person sixty seven scientific therapies mm-hmm. in one go. Lowering LDL and cleaning out the liver and everything. Know, things. Yeah, it's that's whole, amazing. It's whole body. Yeah. And no one's ever done this before. People have tried to pick off you know, like these three or four things or like this supplement or that, but no one's put it together in an entire program. And we have uh, several other products coming out in the next few months that will solve for the person's remaining calories of the day. So we're trying to say this will be the most scientifically backed program in history. And so we'll find variations. We'll find where it does well, where it doesn't well, who struggles. Like we don't know. Right, but we're following the evidence, mm-hmm. and so we'll learn a lot. Uh, How long is the study for? Ninety days. Okay, and then will you replicate it over and over and continue? We'll to... see. Yeah, yeah, we're learning a lot. People are going to measure body composition, so they'll get a scale. They'll do uh, a wearable, so they'll look at things like sleep, exercise, heart rate variability, and then they'll do blood. And so, in, in the small panel, there's 38, 39 variables. In the big, large panel, I think there's like sixty nine or something like that. And all these are, you know highly verified uh clinically relevant markers yeah so it's it's uh, yeah i think it's really cool in, in it's very cool in one week time one yeah. week's time we spun up one of the most significant studies in the history of anti-aging and uh the participants are just amazing it, it tracks such remarkable people the community is really fun and energetic so it's really great to be part of where can someone listening go look at the study or find out more uh we I'm trying to think where the link is at. If you go to the Blueprint website, uh, blueprint.brianjohnson.com, there may be a link there. And you can apply f- to be as part of the next cohort. Yeah, we put this out. We we had t- a slot for 2,500. And we got t- almost 13,000 applications mm-hmm. in a few days' time period. And so we increased it to 5,000, which, you know, like our, our team were like five people. <laughs> and yeah. so it's been overwhelming trying to basically sort a 5,000 person community overnight. Oh yeah. Uh, but we're making it through and it's fun and 
everyone in the community has been so cool. They're like, I can jump in. I can help with customer support. I can help program this thing. So it really has a feeling of like, we feel like we're doing something historic together and everyone's in. And so that I think is really motivating for a lot of us. Is there anything we left out that we, that you want to talk about? The people who have been the most important to me in life have invited me to pause and contemplate that everything I think I know in existence is not true. Now, even if that's offensive to your mind as an initial thought, if you breathe through that and you open up to the possibility that literally everything you believe to be true and that you value is no longer going to be true and valuable. You're at least at the starting point of where we're at as a species. Artificial intelligence is improving at a rate that is unimaginable to us. Nobody knows what happens next. And I think there's a high probability that we will need to evolve at a speed that breaks our brains that what we th we want to hold on to the games we play to our status and to our power and our beliefs and those things are going to hold us back and so in this moment i would just say i would invite all of us to engage in a thought exercise that w if we want to participate in what could be the most magnificent experience in the galaxy our best attribute may be adaptability not superimposing our wills upon the world, uh, but to have the ability to roll with change at the speed at which it is uh, being asked of us. Yeah, but you know, it's our opportunity. We're so lucky to exist in this moment. And uh, what an amazing prize it would be to exist in a future where uh, intelligence expands at in directions and in depths that uh, just are beyond our ability to comprehend. So yeah, I enjoyed the conversation. Appreciate you being here today and you know, going through these topics. A lot of people, we talk a lot about you know daily habits and foods and things like that, but I think uh, these conversations are even more important because they sit underneath habit selection. Like if you have a why for life, mm -hmm. going to bed on time and eating well and exercising is so much easier. If you're just trying to do it for other reasons, sometimes it's hard to muster the power to do it. So I guess that's why I go to the why is then you've got a burning source of energy and doing hard things is easier. Appreciate you, man. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that, <laughs> you know, tracking my roots, where I came from. Man.